Hi, <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, today is Friday, Friday. Today is Friday, August the 26th, the year 2022. It is 3.42 a.m. in the morning. You know, when I read this article yesterday, now, the funny thing about it is, I read articles on couples and on marriages, you know, just about every day, breakups, who's getting together, you know what, I don't care. I don't care, never will. And... I was torn between which podcast to put it under. I was going to talk about it anyways because, like I said, when I heard about it, I went right away my antennas went up, you know. We've all grown up or at least most of us have grown up on Sylvester Stallone's movies. And the two most memorable ones are Rocky and Rambo. The way Sylvester Stallone has always conducted himself, he has had, I would say, a 40, over a 40 year um, career um, in Hollywood, and I don't know the man personally, but I've seen some snippets of him when the camera isn't on him. And with all intents and purposes, he comes across to me as a really good guy. You understand? He is a really as a man, you would want him as a best friend. You understand? <clears throat> So when I read that he was getting a divorce, you have to let these things kind of play out, right? Because it's the tabloids and they'll say anything. <clears throat> Remember when they were saying John Legend is going to get a divorce, blah, blah, blah. it never happened, right? Me, I like to hear from the couples themselves. Okay? I kept reading and reading article after article. The first article I read, or one of the latest article I read, right, was she was uh, Jennifer. Her name is Jennifer Flavin. She was angry that he was dissipating of the marital property funds, estate, whatever. That means he was going out and he was spending here, he was spending there, he was spending there. Okay, that. She was very angry about this. She wanted to go to court to stop him from spending his money, the money. Now, for some of you who don't realize, uh, Mr. Stallone is worth hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. Okay. I put it under this title because I am going to, we are going to do a 
an in-depth you remember that there was a <laughs> I saw it the other day how to lose a man what is it what, how to lose a guy in 10 days how about we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna title how to lose how to lose a husband how to lose a husband <laughs> I kept reading and I kept reading. I was like, Sylvester? No. What? Listen, I didn't even know the man was married. I didn't know Sylvester Stallone was married. Okay? The man don't be in the tabloids in his personal life. He do not. When you hear about Sylvester Stallone, you might hear about him doing a movie. That's all I've ever heard about him. But then again, I'm not in Hollywood, but you understand what I'm saying? Or I've always, I've always, always held this man in high regard. A lot of respect for this man. Not just because of the movies he's made, but um, the way he conducts and carries himself, right? And, he, you know, from what I heard, he's really a down-to-earth cool guy to be around he's not a jerk he's not an asshole he's not any of those things right one one tabloid said or one article said that they were getting a divorce because he was getting a rottweiler he was getting a breeder dog and she didn't want to be the breeder dog and what happens when you have a man of this status? Uh, I want you to look at it as a woman. You don't understand. But this man has built up, has built his name. Oh, come on. What is it in a name? What is it in a name? A name is everything, honey. A name is everything. When you marry a man like Sylvester Stallone and he gives you his name. You know, some of you women out here, they're saying that, uh, when I marry a man, I'm going to keep my own name. <clears throat> Ma'am, women that keep their own name after they get married do not respect the man, stop it right there. You know it also. When you take that man's name, you take in his protection and you take in his status. How many women out there would not want Sylvester Stallone's name? Oh, Miss, Mrs. Stallone, hi. How you doing? Oh my God, your husband. No problem. Yes, anything you, anything you want. Anything you want, anywhere you go, as Mrs. Stallone, you would get, they would roll out, roll, roll out the red carpet for you, ma'am. What's in the name? I kept reading, I kept reading. Then, then. I heard Mr. Stallone speak. He said, he says, I would never divorce my wife for something so trivial as to a breed of a dog. He went on to say, we just grew apart and away from You know who I am, right? You know what my podcast is about. I have a different take on things. 
So I kept reading, kept reading, article after article after article. And I got to the sweet segment of the fruit. Now let's pull that segment out. It went on to say that Jennifer Flavin and Sylvester Stallone have three daughters. After 25 years of marriage, they have three daughters. It went on to say that Jennifer Flavin is gearing up for a reality TV show. <laughs> to me, That was the clincher right there for the divorce decree. This is how the conversation went. Um, so, um, you know, I was thinking about, um, like, you know, you know, having a TV reality set. We have such a beautiful, wonderful family. No! Listen, she didn't even get far. Listen, he says, wait a sec, he says, what? Now, when he's talking, you gotta look at the twist loop, right? What? What? Jennifer, no! Jen, no! And she's like, fix your mouth when you're talking to me. And they have that little, uh, it's a little intimate joke between them two and everything. You have to understand something about these two right there. They are a very loving couple. They love each other a lot. They have a great understanding of one another. To me and to him, she crossed the line. You see, when you have a man like Stallone and the reputation that he has built up in Hollywood, he has been acting in it. He says, I have done that so you and the girls don't have to. That my children don't have to. He says, and if you're going to, if my, if my, let me tell you something about a father, a father's love for his, not only just his children, but his girl children, his daughters. If you're a man, you don't, I don't have to tell you, but you as a woman, this is a podcast for women only, you and I know the fierce protection a man, a father has for his baby girls. When Stallone told her no, she went ahead anyway with the proceedings for the reality show. Why? Sylvester does not want his girls out there. He does not want his family to be put on display. He says, I've done that. Let them put me on display. Let them talk about me. Not my family. Not my baby girls. For her to go ahead and still do it. I'm trying to tell you. But listen. This is going to be an in-depth test case for a woman like Jennifer Flavin and Kim Kardashian. 